Today we are going to discuss the various terms of sweetening in our petroleum engineering field. Now refinery gas sweetening is basically a removal of acid gases. Now what are acid gases? Acid gases are basically of two types, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. Now why are they supposed to be removed? Now they are removed for a reason, for basically two major reasons. The first one is to purify a gas stream or the second one is for the environmental reasons. Before the natural gas can be ejected into the pipeline, there are specific requirements it needs to be fulfilled. Now, if a gas such as a natural gas is withdrawn from the ground, the landfill gas, uh, there are two possibilities. Either it is a sweet one or it is a sour one. Now, if the gas is a sweet one, then it does not consist of any hydrogen sulfide. Thus, it is easy for transportation. While if it is a sour gas, we have to go for further process to make it sweet. That is the sweetening process has to be done on the gas so that uh, then uh, contaminations can be removed and thus it could be easy for its transportation. Now the question here is what is a sour gas? Sour gas is a gas which consists of more than amount of hydrogen sulfide that is in a proportion more than that of 5.7 gm or 4 ppm uh, by volume under specific temperature and pressure conditions. Now this value may vary from region to region. Now what is the basic difference between an acid gas and a sour gas? Now acid gas consists of various other contaminants such as carbon dioxide and hydrogen oxide which are harmful for the environment. And uh, so the governments and the authorities have made it mandatory that when a gas releases out of a refinery, the amount of sulphide in it must be minimum or the contaminants which should be removed. So the sour gas is sent for further further uh, purification so that the amount of hydrogen sulfide in it is, is minimized. So basically what is a sweet gas? Now a natural gas or a landfill gas can be considered as a sweet gas if they only consist of trace quantities of H2S and CO2 which can be removed by a little amount of refinery and then they can be transported easily. Now these sweet gases are non-corrosive. What is gas sweetening? Gas sweetening is basically the process of removal of hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide and meracaptans from the natural gas so that they can be transported easily. As we know that sour gases consist of high amount of hydrogen sulfide which has to be removed. As a sour gas reacts to be corrosive and uh, they react with the pipeline and make it corrosed while they are also toxic. So a sour gas needs to go under sweetening and uh, and uh, decrease the amount of uh, hydrogen sulfide in it so that it can also be transported easily. There are methods for uh, sweetening of gas. Industries can consider their own method by taking different aspects into consideration uh, such as cost, uh, land space, etc. Now, according to their industries, uh, the uh, best method for sweetening of gas is the one which consists of a uh, membrane, uh, which consists of a pre-treatment membrane with free gas composition. Gas sweetening with the membrane technology. Membrane technology can be used to separate water vapor, H2S, and CO2. Now, they are they are they are being separated from uh, a natural gas stream from natural gas from liquefied petroleum gas uh, with the help of a membrane technology many uh, we can separate these gases effectively effective and efficient natural gas sweetening can be done with the help of generon generon is basically a company which offers us this uh, this uh, sweetening process and uh, which is quite efficient so we could consider it the 
in this video is a special code which is quite famous in our petroleum engineering field. It is said by Sir James Bertrand. According to him, uh, a century ago, petroleum, which is which is called as oil, was an obscure commodity, while today it is as vital as water for our own existence. Thank you.